Hey guys, so this is going to be a detailed video on how I achieved the cut in my summer ombre bob. What you want to do is start sectioning off your hair and you want to start from behind the ear. This is usually the longest part of a bob, so you want to section that off and get it out the way so you can begin cutting your back or nape area. Now that we've got our longest pieces out of the way, we're going to start by brushing through the back area or the nape area and securing it with an elastic band. This is going to give us a precise cut. We're going to secure all of that hair with one band and we're going to adjust it to wherever you want the shortest layer of your hair to be. And you're going to start by cutting downwards. This gives you a really nice, almost pre-layered effect and you guys will see exactly what I mean in one second. As you guys can see, I have my basic shape, my outline. Now what I'm going to do is take my flat iron and run it through this hair because after coloring it, it came a little wavy. So I'm going to straighten it so I can get a perfect cut. I'm going to start by taking the middle section in my straight razor and I'm going to start razoring downwards. Not only is this going to thin out the back so it's not so bulky, it's going to give me a really nice, chunky, choppy, layered effect. I'm just going to follow that first guide and do that all over your back area. Now, I didn't say this was going to be easy. Achieving an optimal layered look is really hard, especially when you don't have a mirror right in front of you or someone assisting you, so take your time. This will take a while. You might have to go back, look at a mirror, cross-reference, do it again. It's okay. You want this to be something you really took your time on because it's really hard to get that layered look in the back if you do not have patience. So you will see me going back and back and back to my back area because I just want to make sure that it's not too chunky and choppy, especially because of the color that I do have. So now I'm going to move on to the front section and I'm going to take down both sides and I'm going to start layering where my shortest layer stops and I'm just going to keep going forward and you guys can see that basic outline of shape taking place too. So I'm going to do the same thing on both sides and make sure it's even and properly layered and we're just going to do the same exact thing on the other side. basic outline. We're going to take our sections from the back and we're going to start layering from that shortest section. So you're going to pull the hair outward and you're going to start layering down and this will give you a nice full natural layered look. Trust me, this separates your weave from the zeros. It'll make you a hero. This is one key layering um, effect that a lot of people miss and it definitely will upgrade your weave. So don't forget this one particular point. step on the other side. I like to work on both sides at the same time so you sort of don't forget which step you're being caught up in. So I say do both steps on both sides and then go on to the next step. So 
this is just the basic layer. This is what frames your face. And you're going to basically start your first layer at your cheekbone. It'll definitely highlight your cheeks and give you a nice, you know, halo effect. So I would just say start your first layer at your cheekbone and go downwards. Do the same thing on the other side and you will not be sorry when you're curling that bad boy because it will lay exactly how you want it to. A lot of my layers and make sure it's not too chunky I like to check my back layers and make sure they're even mm -hmm. you just want to really make sure you take your time with this weave Ooh, I scratched myself gross but um yeah you just want to make sure that everything's even now I'm gonna take my thinning shears and thin out that bottom layer now what I'm doing is slowly taking my thinning shears and little short choppy motions and moving my scissor down I don't have to look at what I'm doing at this point because I know I am just removing bulk you don't want it to be too thick and nasty so you want to just move your scissors downward so you have a really nice unblunt I guess bottom line at the back of your bob take my shears and clean up my um, nape area just make sure it's even and you'll find that you will keep snipping you will keep snipping because you're gonna always find a hair or two you are not behind the chair like a you know average hairstylist you're doing your own so there will be a few imperfections there will be a few hairs out of place you might have to go back and nip tuck but it's okay once you're done you'll be so proud to say that you did this yourself I'm telling you it's been so long since I've worn a bob like I think the last bob I wore was like in 07 when I was in college I was tired y'all like I was really over this hairstyle like I was exhausted it was probably like three in the morning when I was shooting this but anyways I'm still going back I'm still there and you guys can see my shape still isn't there but it's okay keep going back keep shaking it make sure there's movement make sure it's not heavy make sure you take your time I'm telling you patience is a virtue my mama taught me that <laughs> So I think I'm satisfied. TT scissor hands is done. I think I'm done. But I had a good time chopping this hair up. I really like how it looks here. Like it looks really beachy and natural. That's exactly what I was going for. But be sure to watch my installation and styling videos. I will have those videos coming up right after this one. Love you guys.